The trail moves on to eastern Turkey. To the north, Mount Ararat, where Noah's Ark came to rest. To the south, Mesopotamia and the Garden of Eden. But this is no earthly paradise. The climate runs to extremes and the fiercest day can be overtaken by a frozen nightfall. The expedition found it at first a hardship to sleep in sub-zero temperatures for two or three nights, but they got used to it. Gradually, you who travel become toughened. Remember, 700 years ago, Marco Polo came this way on his journey to the Great Khan, and he took three years about it. But the Kurds... The Kurds have been here since a thousand years before that. They have survived in areas far more remote and far more wintry. To the Kurds, the traveller is a bearer of curiosities, of cameras and plastic clothing, but he is only of literally a passing interest. What does the Kurd, tough and dignified, need with our modern baubles, when his food, his tools and his techniques have served him well enough these past two thousand years? <laughs> 